So today I will talk about DJI Osmo Pocket Wireless module. So I have one question which is going around is, is modified module capable to charge your DJI Osmo Pocket while we are using it? As I am not using this charging feature at all on my daily basis, simply because my videos, first of all, are not so long. And secondly, I'm always using my external adapter in that port, so I can charge it anyway. But just because that question is there, I will do my best to kind of answer this question. So to answer this question, I will need to do some tests. And with those tests, I will get the data and data actually will answer this question. But to make it even more interesting, I will actually compare modified module with unmodified module to see kind of are there any differences where it's coming to battery charging and discharging. As my Osmo Pocket is charged quite a lot at the moment, so I will probably start my testing with discharging just to see what's hap kind of happening. And uh, as a reference, I will take uh, the data from DJI itself. So they state that at 1080p 30 frames per second, battery should last for, for 140 minutes. So this means that there is nothing attached to it. It's simply plain DJI Osmo Pocket itself. So in my tests, of course, I will use the wireless module. So the data should be a bit different and this will give us as well some kind of information how much less time we have to kind of film something with those adapters. So all that being said, uh, let's get to our tests and see what the results will be. So let's pause it here and discuss what we did so far. So I did three tests, which was related to battery draining. So the first test I did on unmodified wireless module, which gave us 8% of kind of battery usage in 10 minutes. Then I did another test with modified module, which gave us 7%, but it was very close to eight already. So I would say they both was the same. And the last test I did on modified wireless module plus external audio adapter and microphone, and that gave us 8%, but I would say that was already 9% because it was as well super close. So from this, what I can take is that our audio adapter actually in 10 minutes was using only 1% from our battery, which is not bad at all. I was using Rode Smart Low microphone, which is kind of made for smartphones and it's probably power, power efficient microphone. Uh, if you will use probably some bigger microphone that may use a bit more, but that's what I'm kind of seeing. So now doing simple math, what we can take from this away is that if our uh, Osmo Pocket can film at 1080p 30 frames per second, 140 minutes without any attachments, then with wireless module, either it's uh, modified or unmodified, we should see around 10 to 15 minutes less on full battery which should give us 125 minutes on fully charged battery, what we can record. So if we will use our modified wireless module with microphone, external one, yeah. So that should take away around 20 to 25 minutes from full battery charge. And that should give us around 115 minutes of recording time on fully charged battery. So that's what kind of we see. And, uh, 
we can notice that there is no big differences between our adapters where it's coming to battery discharging kind of option. Now let's go to battery charging tests and see what results we will get out here. Okay, so this one is interesting. So we did another two tests, which was related to charging, and this is what we got. So the first test was an unmodified wireless module where we got gain 2% in 10 minutes, which is not a lot, but we're still charging. Then we get, uh, then we made another test with modified wireless module where we actually lost 2% in 10 minutes. So if we won't charge, we will lose 8%, but if we will plug in charger, we will lose as well, but 6% less than if it would be without charging. So what does it say? It say that, yes, it's still charging, but it's not so powerful as it is with unmodified module. So I would call it keep alive feature. So from here, first thing, the Osmo Pocket Wire was made not for all day shooting. So it's not professional camera something small you grab and take around and use it kind of on on your daily basis so if you're planning to use it for long-term shooting you have two options from here first of all i wouldn't recommend to actually charge it while we are using because of all the heat and everything you will simply damage your battery and that's not gonna be good so even dji is not recommending to charge it while you are kind of filming because it's simply overheating Yes, you can do this and use it for time-lapse, but I would say in time-lapse it's not really filming, it's, kind of, it's snapping a pictures. So it's using much less power than it will use when you are actually filming something. So another option, what you have if you still want to kind of keep your wireless connection and record something, then you probably need to consider to get another module, which will be unmodified. So if both of those features you want. You want that external audio adapter and you want that capability to charge while you are filming. I would recommend you to get two adapters and use one for one reason, another for another reason. If you want to go just one way with modified one, that actually should give you still on 1080p set difference per second around eight hours of recording time, which is a lot, but like I said, Neither DJI, neither me is not recommending to charge it while we are using uh, only because of that heating results, because that can affect not only battery, that can affect your Osmo Pocket itself. And it, it simply was not made for that. So if you're doing something like that on a regular basis, I would recommend you to reconsider what kind of, kind of video gear you are actually using. So with all that being said, there are some more interesting facts came up. So I did a couple more tests behind the scenes and uh, with the same charging hub, same cable, but with different kind of battery level itself in Osmo Pocket. And maybe there was different amount of attached devices to the charging hub itself. So with unmodified module, I was able to see 8% gain in 10 minutes kind of, of charging time. And with modified module, I saw as well 2% gain in 10 minutes. So it's still less than unmodified module, but as you can see, it may vary. I don't know why exactly it is, either it's battery percent, if it's less, it's maybe charging faster, or it can be related to charging hub itself. What affected that, I don't know, but uh, just letting you know that there are different kind of results coming up. Uh, where it was coming to battery draining, they all was still the same, nothing's changed here, so just letting you know. So, to keep you kind of still in the game, I have something new, so 
I bought DJI Mavic uh, Mini drone, which is as well. I may have some information which you don't know, which may be related to that why I choose this one over Mavic Air 2. So if you want to find out more about that, stay tuned for upcoming videos. And I got today in Mag Clip Go, which is a Rode Wireless Go kind of wireless microphone attachment. It's a magnetic clip, which should help with different kind of t-shirts when you need to attach your wireless microphone. Is it any good? I will do a small review on this one. So if you are interested to see those ones, stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoyed this video and the information gave you some kind of clarity of that. If you like this content, don't forget to click the like. If you want to see more from me, subscribe to my channel and I will see you on the next one. Ciao. So if you are still watching, let me give you a bonus tip. So if you have modified and unmodified module, how you can easily kind of identify which one is modified. So if you will take your charging cable and simply plug it in, in the back, you will see the light will come on. This means that this wireless module is modified. So one more thing what you need to remember that when it's coming to charging with this mod my modified wireless module, you need to keep the same sequence as you are using when you are using with your audio adapter. So you need to plug in into your Osmo Pocket and let it recognize it. And then you can plug in your charging cable. If you will do opposite, it will charge full speed, but you won't be able to connect with your phone. So keep that in mind.